Hello again. I'm doing this video from bed. Sorry about that. Because I'm still feeling a bit rough from the surgery. And the last video I did was two days prior to surgery. And I'm now four days post-surgery. So I do apologise for the big gap there in producing any content. But to be honest, I haven't felt up to it. So here I'm going to go through everything from where I left off to now. So I'll start with just arriving at the hospital and exactly what happened. So if you go for a sleeve, based on my experience, this is what I would expect you to undergo. So I arrived at the hospital and was taken in to a waiting area and asked to do a COVID lateral flow test which I did and was negative and I had to keep that with me to show each nurse or doctor that I came into contact with so I thought that was good for keeping everybody in the hospital safe and then I was taken for blood tests I'll show you my arm my arm's not looking great it's not too bad got a bit of bruising so I had some blood taken and I fainted twice because I am terrible with blood and I had to get a man in to help move me because I'd laid in a weird position on the bed <laughs> but I was fine they took my blood I got what they needed went back to the waiting area sweeter than that and then a short time later I was taken to my room so I was picked up by a lady who took me in a lift up to my room had an ensuite room which had um, TV shower everything you need really it was nice and she told me to make myself comfortable have a shower and wash my body not my hair and then to put on the hospital gown and then she would be back in to go through some things with me. So I had a shower, unpacked my belongings, put my things on my bedside table, like my book and my eye mask and things like that. Had a shower, got my gown on, and then the lady came back in and we went through some questions. Just the usual things like allergies and Oh, so I got gas pain, allergies, and just usual questions you expect to be asked when you're going in for a procedure. Nothing out of the normal. Um, I had to have absolutely no makeup on, no nail varnish on, and um, no jewellery either to go in. So that's something to note: take your nail varnish off before you go in, because I did. I had to pick it off in the room. <laughs> Clever, aren't I? Um, and then uh, I had somebody come in and do a few tests on me so I had blood pressure um, oximeter test and I had an ECG which is where they place small stickers on your chest under your breast and on your ankles and your wrists and then they monitor how your heart is pumping blood around your body and uh, then I just kind of hung out in my room for a bit getting comfy and I was told there would be about an hour's wait for surgery um, I did speak to the surgeon as well he popped in just then around an hour before surgery and just discussed a few things with me so one of the things he um, was obviously just making sure that I was calm and still happy to proceed and just double checking everything so one of the things he did say to me was he has come across patients in past surgeries that actually have a weakened diaphragm and the diaphragm has been pushed upwards and in that case he's unable to perform the sleeve gastrectomy so he's had to then, you know, abort the procedure and then when the patient wakes up 
tell them and weren't able to do it, but you can have the bypass, gastric bypass. And the patients have previously said, oh, well, I wish you'd have done that because then they don't have to go under anaesthesia again. So he asked me, if you do have a weakened diaphragm, would you prefer for me to abort the procedure or to carry out a bypass instead? I wasn't keen, but I, I did say, yes, I'd rather you carry out the bypass because I haven't gone through all this for nothing. But um, luckily, I will tell you more about the operation later on. The um, procedure was able to go ahead as I had initially hoped. I had a sleeve gastrectomy. So then the surgeon left and told me, you know, in an hour we'll be ready for you. And at this point, <laughs> I decided to have a nap. So I curled up in my bed and went to sleep. Next thing I know, I got the anaesthetist knocking on the door, waking me up, saying, come on then, we're ready for you. So that was good because it meant that I was calm because I'm quite a nervous, anxious person. And it was good that I'd been able to have that little sleep just to rest myself. So the anaesthetist took me through and um, I was taken to the theatre. I had, uh, I can't remember what they're called, the stockings on that keep, you know, tight around your calves to prevent blood flow. I'll remember the name eventually. And they popped me in the little bed and there was little foot restraints and I was told where to put my arms and legs. And then they started talking to me and put um, a cannula in my right hand, which is, you can see there's a little dot there where it was. But I mean, I'm pretty happy with that, it's nothing bad. And then they put some, tied some things around my calves and they said, oh, this is to um, help your circulation. And then I had my left arm straight out and um, I started to like, you know, fidget, touch things because I was thinking, oh, what's going on? I'll get a bit anxious. And they put an oxygen mask on me and um, I've never had an oxygen mask on and I felt like I couldn't properly breathe. So I was start talking through the mask. I was like, woo, 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 woo. And then I pulled my arm up to take the mask off and then I heard one of the nurses say, strap her arm down. So then they velcro strapped my arm down like a mental patient. So I was completely like tied down. So I started to get quite anxious then and um, I was going through my mask. So the surgeon then took it off and said, what's the matter? <laughs> And I just said, oh, when am I going to sleep? Because oh, I was just in a bit of a state and I get quite blunt when I get really like kind of stressed. It wasn't absolutely not trying to be rude, but in hindsight, it probably didn't come across very well. And that is the last thing I remember. Absolutely nothing after that. So all I can imagine is me saying, oh, when am I going to sleep? And then I'm thinking, crack that right up, shut her up. But fair play, very happy, because that is the last thing I remember. Right, I'm going to stop this video now, have a rest, have a drink, and then I'm going to start a new video, and I'm going to talk you through everything from the moment I woke up to now. Thank you. Bye.